times of quarantine we can travel but no one has cancelled virtual exploration. So we will take you on a journey through Europe's most magnificent medieval castles that hold centuries of incredible rich history in their ruins. Most of the beautiful castles have fallen into despair after the years of war and reconciliation and we are now left with only silhouettes of the, the past glory. Budget Direct collaborated with graphic designers and architects to rebuild seven of the most famous castles across Europe to their form a mighty beauty with the help of these digital architectural 3D renders, reconstruction animations. Number 1. Sambo Castle The Kingdom of Bohemia was a medieval European monarchy that ruled over the parts of modern-day Czech Republic and Germany from the end of 12th century until the First World War. The Bohemian ruler of Tokar built Samobor Castle in the mid 18th uh, mid 13th century during, during a war over the disrupted duchy of Styria but he soon lost it to Croatian Hungarian forces today the medieval architecture a fortress peers down over the roofs of modern day Samobor with just a 10 minute walk from the town and visitors can still marvel at the walks and remains of the moat the only surviving original element is the guard tower. Much of the rest of remains, including the Gothic chapel of St. Anna, are from 16th century modifications. Number 2. Chateau Gallard, France Chateau Gallard is an early example of the use of concentric fortification in maculation in castle design. Maculation refers to floor openings in battlements through which defendants could drop boiling oil or rocks on their attackers. The concentric fortification was formed of three defensive pillars, one inside the other and each separated by dry moats. Richard the Lionheart built the Lord very quickly between 1196 and 1198 to defend against Philip II of France. The castle saw a lot of action before finally being abandoned in the 16th century and later demolished by Henry IV of France. However, elements of the outer castle remain and you can still admire the uniquely ribbed walls of Inner Valley. Number 3. Denotra Castle, Scotland Denotra is a promontory fort. It is perched on a sea gulf looking out onto the North Sea from the east coast of Scotland. The castle has played a pivotal role in tensions between the English and the Scottish over the years. Most famously, William Braveheart was a sage and retook the castle from the English in 1297. It is the key location in 1990 movie, The Castle was later besieged by Oliver Cromwell. The Scottish crown jewels were smuggled to safety, either up the jumper of a pregnant woman or over seaward facing walls, depending on who you ask. One of the most dominant remains on the 1.4 hectare site is 14th century tower house. The uniquely Scottish feature was a kind of fortified mansion that once stood three stores high. Number 4. Menlo Castle, Ireland Menlo Castle was owned for most of its existence by Blake family and destroyed fi fire in 1910. The family coachman James Cowan escaped the flames by climbing down from his window on ivy vines. He tried to rescue the other inhabitants, but a young Eleanor Blake perished in the fire as did a maid who kept her to death. Since the day the castle was ruined, the same green heavy Ivy has grown to cover the entire building. Visiting Menlo is a fairy tale experience as the vines camouflage the building in the natural landscape of the surrounding woods and fields. It is not known when the castle was first built, but it was primarily a domestic rather than military use. Large round towers and a form of pile that hold a cannon and telescope provided security for the inhabitants. Number 5. Austin Castle, Poland. Austin Castle is set on a dramatically bumpy hill among limestone rocks overlooking the Lena River in northeast Poland. The castle was built sometime before 1306. It was expanded by Sesimir the Great between 1349-59 to defend against the Czechs. Austin later gained a military garrison and was renovated in the Renaissance style in the 16th century. At that point, it was built on three levels with drawbridge entrance and a moat. In the following years, however, the Habsburgs and then the Suits caused significant damage and the castle fell out of use. Today, visitors can still see the original Gothic tower and explore the ingenious manner in which the built elements integrate the area's rocks and cast caves. Number 6. Spish Castle, Slovakia Covering a 4-hectare area, Spish Castle 
is one of the world's largest castle complexes. Its magnitude served the purpose of a border fortress in a feudal Hungarian kingdom. The castle later changed hands several times between empires and aristocratic families who used it as a mansion. It was owned by the Czech family and in decline when fire finally ruined building in 1780, perhaps the result of a lightning strike. <clears throat> Today's Peach Castle in UNESCO listed. Its expanse and geographic setting make it ideal for walking and photography. Conversionists began work several decades ago to protect the medieval building from the threat of an unstable bedrock under the foundations. A hundred square meter geograph of a horse from a Celtic coin design now stands imposingly. Number 7. Poenar Castle, Romania Legendary Poenar Castle is so adorned with the inspiring details that it feels like it came from a storybook. Indeed, it once belonged to Lad the Impala, the Voivod of Polesia, who inspired Bram Stoker's Count Dracula, climbing the 1,480 concrete stairs to the cliff top. Castle's eagerness position creates an uneasy sense of isolation. And it is easy to get giddy at such a height, especially in the knowledge that it ruins a partially due to a landslide that drag the towers down the river 400 meters below. But Poenar in it, beware with it has made the two. Lad himself escape attack through a secret passageway and into the Carpathian Mountains. The fortress itself was originally built directly into the rock, fortified without flying. The and Lad rebuilt it extra towers for defense. As a final fearsome detail, the castle is currently closed because of local bears, but it will reopen soon, possibly with a criminal tram to lift visitors up from the valley. So, this was seven castles, historical, magnificent and medieval. Thank you for watching. Please let us know in the comment section below.